Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Courtney. And I'm Nate. And today we are going to be sharing the top 10 must-have items that we keep with us in the van. And we're going to show you each and every one of them. We hope you love it. So basically these are just things that we couldn't really imagine living without. Things that we use mostly every day and that are totally worth the space that they take up inside the van. So we uh, wanted to put a little list together to share with you guys. And if you're interested, we have a full list that will include a bunch of stuff on our website with links. So you guys can head over there, coordinate.com for that full list. This is kind of personally for us, but hopefully this will help you if you're planning your build or whatever. Yeah, everyone's gonna have different needs and um, these are just things that we really value having. So let's get started. Okay. Okay, number one, our toilet. Boom, we love this thing. Nature's Head composting toilet, use it every day. Especially since we live in here full time, we really don't like to rely on public restrooms. We always have it right here and easy to dump. Doesn't take up much space in here either. Best part is really no smell, so really worth the investment for us. Our number two must have item would have to be our Berkey water filter. This thing's great, the placement's pretty cool too because we have our little nozzle right in the sink. Has a couple high quality carbon filters in there and produces really nice, clean, great tasting water and it's super easy to use. We use it to brush our teeth, Courtney washes her face with it. If you do have one of these, you might want to strap it there. We had one really big spill one time, so. So number three is gonna have to be our sliding curtain tracks. So these are really, really nice whenever we wanna really quickly get privacy to not have to throw up our window covers. You can just really quickly open and close them. So it just adds some privacy and we think it looks kinda nice. It gives, gives the van that homey feel. So we have it in the back and in the front. Number four is gonna be our Dyson Car and Boat Vacuum. This thing is amazing. It has a whole bunch of attachments and this one is the one that we use the most. It's really good for getting into all of the tight corners and crevices of the van and we use this every single day having a dog. His hair gets everywhere and we vacuum it up daily with this. It also has a DC uh, charging option, so really good for the van. All right, so number five is our insulated fan cover. This is for our exhaust fan. We mounted our exhaust fan up in the front of the van and it's pretty close to the windshield in the front area, so when we drive, we get a lot of wind and road noise that enters through the fan there. So um, besides just turning it off, we actually just shove this little guy in there and that cuts down the road noise dramatically. This is really cheap too, it's like $12 or something. All right, number six is gonna have to be our AAA membership. Yes, definitely something you will wanna have if you're living on the road. And it'll come in handy if you get stuck somewhere, have a flat tire, have a dead battery. For us, it came in really handy when our van broke down. Um, we got stranded and needed to get towed 200 miles. So with the premium membership, you can get up to a 200 mile tow for free, which is a huge money saver. Money there are a whole bunch of other perks that come with AAA too, but uh, definitely recommend some kind of roadside assistance if you're living in your van or vehicle at all. Number seven is our hose. Not just any hose, this is an expanding hose. So this is actually 50 foot hose when it's filled with water. Um, so it's awesome if you're filling from a house or somewhere that's kind of far. Um, but it fits in tight spaces in the van, which is great. And um, it also has a valve on it too. So you could start it and stop it when you're filling, which makes it super easy. So number eight is two things. Um, we have a dish mat. So when we do dishes, this is really, really nice to have so that we don't get our counter all wet and it's really easy to fold it up and put it away. And then the other thing is gonna be these reusable dish towels. We have a ton of these and we use them every single day. We use them for things like wiping down all of our cabinets, our countertops, cleaning, wiping Tonkin's paws. We really use them for everything and we try not to use paper towels or anything like that. So it's our way to kind of reduce our waste, but. I definitely recommend having lots of towels or anything to clean things up because we spill things all the time and you're gonna to wanna to be able to grab something quickly to clean it up. All right, number nine is leveling blocks. We got these Lynx levelers, came in a pack of 10. This is great if you're in an uneven surface camping. If you're parked next to the curb where it slopes down for the gutter, sometimes these are nice just to level the out a little bit. And they could also help you out if you get in a pinch and get stuck. Um, you can kind of get some traction with these as well. But they're super easy to use. Just lay them out. And you can stack them different ways too. Line them up with your tires and either back over them or pull forward onto them. And 
you'll get a nice level surface. Number 10 is Sumo Springs. We added these after we finished our build. Uh, after adding so much weight in there, we noticed that it was super bouncy back here. Um, we would be bottoming out on a lot of potholes and just bumps in general. Um, so after we added this, we noticed a lot more uh, stability, uh, less bounciness, and overall just more support for the van. So those are the top 10 items that come to mind for us first, but we also wanted to go over a couple of safety items, things that are kind of non-negotiable that you should definitely have in your van build just as far as safety goes. So we're gonna share some of those as well. So the two most important safety features that are sometimes overlooked are one, fire extinguisher, very important, and the other is a carbon monoxide detector, and if you're running propane, a propane detector. This next thing is gonna be a little bit more on the optional side. It's a security system, but it does give us a lot of peace of mind when we are away that everything's gonna stay safe, our dog's gonna stay safe. Um, we have the Simply Safe security system. It has a lot of different features. You can pick and choose what you want to have in your van. We have the camera, the temperature monitor, the glass break sensor, and we also have motion detectors inside. So if anyone were to break in, we'd be notified on our phones and we can also watch our dog and make sure that he is staying safe and comfortable inside the van when we're away. Okay, so now that we've gotten through some of our must-haves, we wanted to share some fun items that uh, are not exactly necessities, but things that just kind of make us happy and uh, make living in the van enjoyable. And these are just some of our favorites, I guess. All right, so if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know that I really, really love to make my morning drinks. It's kind of one of the best parts of my day. So these are some of my must-haves for my morning drinks. First of all, we have our Nutribullet. So we started with a Vitamix, which was big and bulky, and it was really hard to get in and out of the drawer. So we decided to trade that in for a Nutribullet, and we really love this. It's really small and compact, easy to store. Um, and then we also have an espresso milk frother. So this is kind of a treat, but it's really nice to have. We use it to froth our milk. If you don't want something like this, if you want to go a little bit of a cheaper route or just something that takes up less space, one of these handheld whisks is really awesome. And we'll link all of this stuff in the description. And then I really loved my ice drinks. So we have a couple different size silicone ice molds. So we do have a freezer section in our fridge. So to make ice, we usually just use the mold. So we have these really tiny ones that are really fun, kind of hard to get out of the mold, but it's worth it. And then we have a bigger size. This was thrifted. Unfortunately, I don't have a link for this, but just something to pour milk. And then this is a matcha bowl. So sometimes I'll prepare my matcha in here and then pour it over ice with milk. I've been making my coffees with this AeroPress. Super nice, compact, lightweight, really easy to use too, and it makes great coffee. And this is a Porlex grinder, and I really like it. Definitely recommend that too. A nice little combo. And a scale if you want the scale, if you want to get into it. So another thing that we found we really enjoy having in the van is a lot of plants. We feel like it just kind of opens up the space and we do spend quite a bit of time in our van. So we find having plants and also fresh flowers just kind of helps keep the van bright and cheery and gives it that homey feel and we really love it. Another thing that we found really handy is to have hooks basically all over the van. We have some here and then behind the driver's seat. Um, and then we also have some magnetic ones. So if we ever need to hang something up anywhere random, we can just throw it on like that. Another addition that we made was this handle here on the slider door. If you have a ProMaster, the door's kind of hard to close, so being able to just kind of grab this and pull it shut has been super handy, and I definitely recommend having one of these, especially if you have a counter right here. It makes it a lot easier to close the door. Another thing that we've really loved having are these outdoor chairs. So we got these at REI, and the best part about them is that they collapse down into a really small little bag, so they're really lightweight and compact, easy to store, and they're actually pretty comfortable too. This outdoor rug we got from World Market has been really awesome. We got it recently, but it's really nice. Um, it helps with tracking dirt inside the van, so we like it. All right, guys, so last couple things. Um, for me, this is something that uh, I really like, but Nate's not a huge fan of. He hates it and just is very, very negative. You're talking about the lights? Yes. I like the lights. <laughs> the lights give you a nice ambiance in here and you know, it's great, but really crackles around, smacks the wall when we're driving and it's, it's terrible. It kind of hits the wall when we're driving, makes some noise, but. Would not recommend. 
I would recommend if you like the ambiance comes with a remote and you can turn it on and off and then it also has like different like it has like a disco like and a, a wild Christmas and crazy party mode party. so we like it on number eight because it's just nice and mellow um, but number eight. I really like these and last but not least is gonna have to be our nebula capsule projector so we tried a couple different projectors before we settled on this one. This one is the most lightweight and compact that we could find, and it also produces a pretty good video quality, right? Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, so we really like it. You can um, stream Netflix. It has a Wi-Fi capability, right? Sure does, and it's got its own apps on there, like Netflix and stuff like that, so kind of like a smart projector. Yeah, so cool. we, we actually rigged it up to the bottom of our cabinet here mm -hmm. and have it play on this wall. We got a little cheap projector screen that we hang up, and uh, we love it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We do appreciate you if you made it this far in the video. Thanks, um, guys. Like we said, everything is gonna be linked on our website, courtandnate.com. We have a blog post of our must-haves and it's got a full list with a bunch of other stuff that we didn't even mention here today, but check it out if you're interested and don't be forgetting to subscribe, of course. Don't be forgetting. Okay, see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. See ya.